Here in this example, we can see what is the variation in each of these group. So we can calculate the variance for the first group. We can also calculate variance for the second group and also we can calculate variance for the third group. And by after addition of all these variances, we will get the variances of the entire group. So this is again important application of the variances. Hello friends, welcome back. The next important statistical concepts that we are going to learn today is the variance. Variance is again widely used and most important measure of dispersion statistics. We are going to learn this variance with the help of practical example both in Excel as well as by using the formula. I am also going to explain what is the difference between the standard deviation and variance and what are the practical applications of the variance. So let's begin. In the last video, we had seen what is a standard deviation. Standard deviation which is indicated by either yes or sigma. The sample standard deviation that we had seen provides a measure of spread of your data. That means what is the measure of dispersion or what is the variation of all the data points with respect to the mean value that will be indicated by the standard deviation. If the data contains x1, x2, x3 up to xn values where n is the total number of data points with mean of x bar then the standard deviation of the sample is calculated by using this formula s is equal to square root of summation goes from i is equal to 1 to n xi minus x bar bracket square divided by n minus 1. I have also explained in detail what is the difference between the population standard deviation and sample standard deviation. Now as we are going to learn the variance Variance is nothing but the square of the standard deviation and we can calculate that by making the square of standard deviation. The sample variance is indicated by S square and the population variance is indicated by sigma square. So this sample variance S square is calculated by using formula S square is equal to summation goes from i is equal to 1 to n xi minus x bar bracket square divided by n minus 1. I am sure the basic question that may be in your mind is why do we need another term which is just a square of known term. So here is answer for that. Variances are additive while standard deviation is not. In other words we can say we just add variances of two data sets or populations to get the variances of the combined. This concept is very useful in statistical tolerance stack up. If you want to set the tolerance for the assembly, we can also set the tolerances for child parts. Variances are also important in analysis of variance. This is again important hypothesis testing that we are going to use to compare the means of more than two samples. Now let's go into the detail of it. Let me explain some of the practical applications of this variance and then we will go into the calculation part. The first important application of the variances is the measurement system analysis. In measurement system analysis, when we are going to calculate the total variation, we are going to calculate the part to part variation and then we are going to calculate the measurement system variation. In this case, we are going to calculate the variance for part to part variation as well as variance for the measurement system variation and after adding these two variances, we are getting variances for the total variation. This is similar to the Pythagoras theorem. We can say that the diagonal square is equal to summation of its adjacent side squares. Now this is also applicable for the measurement system variation. If you go into the detail of it, we can say that measurement system variation again consists of two important parts. The first one is measurement system variation due to the equipment and the measurement system variation due to the operator. If you add the variances of these two variations, then we will get the total gauge arenda. So here also we can see variances is playing the more important role. This additive property of the variances making understanding of the measurement system analysis very simpler. That means we can understand the relationship between all the components of the measurement system analysis with the help of this simple diagram. If you want to calculate the variances of measurement system variation, then we can simply add the variances of repeatability and reproducibility. And if you add the part to part variance into that measurement system variation, then we will get the total variation. If you go into the detail for the another example, we can also see that statistical tolerancing. 
if the processes producing the lens of let's say parts a b c are capable and generate normal distribution the tolerances of these parts is directly related to their standard deviations how we can calculate that this is based on this additive property of the variances we can say that the total variance of the stack is equal to the variances of individual parts and if you want to define the standard deviation for these parts then it is simply the square root of their additions this is again important application of the variances we can also see third important application of the variances and that is one way anova when we are going to compare the mean of more than two samples then we are going to use this one way anova here in this example we can see what is the variation in each of this group so we can calculate the variance for the first group we can also calculate variance for the second group and also we can calculate variance for the third group and by after addition of all these variances we will get the variances of the entire group so this is again important application of the variances now let's go into the calculation part of these variances with the help of practical examples if you want to calculate the variance by using formula just we need to eliminate the last step of making a square root of the answer in standard deviation so it's very simple now let me explain you how we can calculate the variances by using the microsoft excel so these are the three examples that we had seen into the last video and we had seen how we can calculate the sample and population standard deviation for it now let's calculate the sample and population variance of the same data set here similar to the sample standard deviation and population standard deviation for sample variance and population variance we need to select the different formulas for example let's say for the first data set example 1 if you want to calculate the sample variance then we need to use the formula is equal to variance par and after that we need to select this option variance dot yes after that we need to select this data set complete the bracket and make a enter so we got the sample variance 4.67 for this data set in similar way we can also calculate the population variance for this data set for that purpose we need to use the formula is equal to variance in this case instead of yes we need to select p variance dot p after that we need to select this data set complete the bracket and make a enter here again we can see the population variance is lesser compared to the sample variance because in population variance we are going to divide the entire formula by n instead of n minus 1 we can simply copy this formula to other two examples to see what is the sample variance in both of these cases and also we can copy this population variance formula to other two examples to see what is the population variance in other two examples now from this presentation examples and illustration i am sure that you got the complete clarity about the variance now let's learn another important statistical concepts into the next video at the end of this video if you found this information useful then please do not forget to like comment and subscribe if you want to learn lean six sigma in minute app most effectively and practically then please visit at vijayasabe.co/join or successfulcareerhub.com/courses one more important thing if you want to support me or appreciate my efforts you can also join my youtube channel by clicking the join button at my youtube channel by joining this youtube channel you are not only supporting me but also getting an access to the perks that can help you in your career goal thank you for watching and see you in the next video